Greetings YouTube friends, it's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead and today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious eggnog cranberry bread. Okay, you're probably thinking what's the difference between cranberry bread and cranberry scones? Well this is completely different, it's made with eggnog. So it is, it just kicks it up a notch. And of course the cranberry scones were absolutely delicious, they were gone in no time. So this cranberry bread is just a lovely little gift that you can bring to, you know, your neighbors, teachers, uh, people at church, whoever. Um, and this pan here, I absolutely love. It's one of the um, uh, clay pans, I guess you'd call them, from Pampered Chef. I picked this up at a garage sale years ago for like a dollar. Amazing, I know, these things are really expensive. And I have used it every year. And so I'm gonna go ahead and make some small loaves because they're nice to freeze as well. And if you have someone that's coming over, you can just grab one real quick and slice it up and you've got, um, you've got dessert. Anyway, um, the cranberries this year seem to be um, really cheap. They come in these cute little bags, which I love. Um, and they were 99 cents, which usually is what I pay for them when they're on sale. And I snatch them up and freeze them but that's what they were this year. So I did grab a bunch of bags and I have them in the freezer for things like this because um, I absolutely love cranberries. We make a cranberry drink as well that we blend up the cranberries um, with apple cider vinegar and just kind of make a little refreshing drink. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, this again is called Cranberry Eggnog Christmas Bread. And so we're gonna go ahead and start off with two cups of flour, this little bag. That's off all these little plastic things, so I want to make sure it doesn't get into anything. Okay. Probably just going to make two loaves just to kind of show you how it's done. Um, and then I will go back and make two more. But for now, I'm just going to make the two. Okay, um, we're gonna go ahead and use coconut oil because we use coconut oil in our homestead. You can use whatever oil you prefer. I know there's so many out there that are just not good for you. So we've tried tweaking it with olive oil, coconut oil. You don't end up tasting it um, unless you've got a really strong olive oil. But um, it's just better for you to use, you know, coconut oil. Um, I know that avocado oil is really good um, as well. Anyway, it's okay, so now I'm gonna use one cup of brown sugar. I've got these adorable little measuring cups that my kiddos got for me for either Mother's Day or um, my birthday. As you can tell, all these pretty little things here from Pioneer Woman have been gifts from my children because they know that I like it. I would never buy it for myself, so it's fun when they get these things for me. Okay, we need two eggs. These are eggs from our chickens. Um, they're not laying as well as um, they were in the summer, but we're still getting eggs, so we are just enjoying them so much. It's so amazing. And now I'm going to put in a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, on our homestead, we use coconut oil. You can use olive oil, you can use whatever oil you prefer. Um, we use coconut oil. It's very, very good for you. It's a beneficial oil. I went ahead and greased my pan with coconut oil, and I'm going to go ahead and put a half a cup of coconut oil in here. It's gonna be so yummy. And like I said, I had already put in a cup of eggnog, guys. This is gonna be over the top. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Okay, now I'm going to put in a half a teaspoon of salt. <clears throat> I think I may have already done that. I'm not gonna take a chance to do it again. I think I did. <laughs> I've done that before and I don't wanna make it too salty. So anyway, so I put in here my two cups of flour, a cup of uh, brown sugar, two eggs, uh, baking soda, salt, vanilla, and now I'm gonna add in the cranberries after I mix it because you kinda of wanna fold those in. You don't really want to um, really mix those, you know, like you would all of this. We're gonna mix this up real good. Cranberries are one of my favorite, favorite fruit. Most of you may think, you know, they're so bitter, they're so sour. They are, but they are so good for you. 
so, so good for you, so beneficial. Okay, and I'm always trying to find things that are good for you as well as delicious. And I like making a cranberry drink where we take cranberries, we'll take some ice, some apple cider vinegar, um, some stevia, and we'll blend it all together. Oh, it's delicious. So delicious and so simple. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> as you can tell, that's completely blended. So now I'm going to put in one and a half cups of frozen cranberries. And it's wonderful to work with them when they're frozen because then they don't, um, you know, bleed and turn the entire batter red, which can happen. I've done that with blueberries before. Whenever we make our homemade blueberry um, muffins for Christmas or Easter, um, I've let the blueberries or, yeah, sit out a, a few minutes too long and then the blueberry muffins are completely blue. So, <laughs> and it's okay. We still eat them, we still love them, but, um, the blueberries are kind of crushed and not not completely whole. In this batter, you will see that the cranberries are still very, very frozen, so it did not turn the batter red. I'm gonna go ahead and start scooping it into my pan here. I'm using um, a Pampered Chef clay pan that I got at a garage sale years ago for I think a dollar, amazing deal. I'm always looking for stuff like that at garage sales. I have my pans already um, greased with coconut oil so it doesn't stick. I'm not gonna make the mistake this time of overfilling. I've done that before and boy, it's a mess. <laughs> I tend to wanna fill it thinking it needs to be filled to the top, but it doesn't. You do not have to fill it all the way to the top to make a nice little loaf. And these are so cute. I just love the way they look. Okay, I'm gonna to continue to fill this and then I'm gonna stick them in the oven and then I'm gonna show you when they are done. Okay guys, they're done. They came out of the oven. It made three beautiful loaves. I could have made four, but I like them to be kind of big. They could have been much smaller and made four but a big loaf is a good loaf. <laughs> if you could smell the eggnog together with the cranberry, it is simply filling the house. It smells amazing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take a cup of powdered sugar and I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of milk to it. And then I'm gonna make a glaze and I'm going to just pour the glaze over the top. Um, with this, you could also, instead of milk, add more um, eggnog and just make it that much more decadent. But I'm gonna go ahead and do milk and then I'm gonna drizzle it over. I don't want you all to think that I've turned into a cooking show <laughs> because we could, <laughs> but it is winter time and during the winter and fall, we tend to bake more. Spring and summer, I hardly do any baking. I don't want to heat up the house. My goal would be to one day have a solar oven. I want one of those. I think that would be so wonderful to be able to bake year round and just put it outside, you know, let the sun do its work. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, I would love that. Maybe one day. But for now, I'm just kind of sharing some of our traditional um, Christmas recipes with you. Um, we're gonna get back into doing more herbs and um, I would like to show you how I make tinctures, especially this time of the year when everybody's getting sick. Um, I'm gonna water this down just a little bit more so I can drizzle it because see it's turned into a nice thick glaze and boy when you put this glaze on here guys it just kicks it up a notch and it's so so simple there's no right or wrong way to do it you can put as much or as little glaze as you like I kind of like a lot really makes it taste yummy 
but um, I'm hoping that all of you are staying healthy. I know this time of year, everybody tends to eat too much sugar. We're kind of watching it. We're not really into a lot of sweets and a lot of what I make that you see goes right out the door as blessings to others. So it's not like we're consuming all of it, even though it would be yummy to do that. <laughs> we, we don't. Um, but we do tend to, uh, to eat more sweets, especially when they're being dropped off. How can you not? So anyway, guys, this is what it looks like. This is such a delicious bread. I want you to know that adding the eggnog was new this year. I've always made a cranberry bread, but I decided to try one with eggnog. Kick it up. I'm always trying to look for different changes, you know, make it even better. But I think that this is gonna be the one we're gonna make from now on, because it the batter itself, oh my. Jedidine Avonlea helped clean the bowl, lick the bowl clean, because it was so yummy. It wasn't a batter you wanna waste. But anyway, um, I just wanted to share another yummy recipe with you, one that you might want to give a try. Very, very simple again. Uh, minimal ingredients, I'm all about simple. Um, and I hope that I'm not overwhelming you with recipes, but I just want to share some of the things that we do in our home and Maybe you'll share a special recipe with me. I would love that and again if you want to send us um, Something for Christmas. We have a P.O. Box now. We would love to receive your cards and We are getting out a family Christmas card that we would love to send to you as well But anyway guys, I hope that everyone is doing well Stay healthy, don't eat too many sweets. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Share it with a friend. And until next time, guys, Christmas blessings.